Howdy y'all and welcome to Lex Lives. I'm Lacander and this is Lack Plays Minecraft. Uh, you can see I've just had a run in with four creepers. I managed to kill one of them. One of them blew up behind me uh, and another one jumped in the hole with me <laughs> and then as I was fighting that one another one came up over the hill and jumped in the hole with me I didn't die but uh, it uh it totally dug this giant hole in the ground that I'm filling in now and uh, took out part of the path again I really need to get this place lit up uh, monsters, when they spawn, especially like at night, uh, can only spawn sort of where there's not too much light. Uh, they can't do light areas. So if you have enough torches around, then they can't come out. And I think I really need to do that because I'm getting tired. Or, I don't have to do the whole area, but if I just, uh, put up some fence. I might do some uh, stone wall actually. Um, if I would do that and just put some uh, lights down the side then they couldn't get through the stone wall to get to me. Um, but uh, I haven't done it yet and I really probably should because I'm getting tired of filling in the holes from the creepers. Um, so yeah I wanted to show you a little bit about what I've uh, done since the last time we had an episode. Uh, I spent probably close to five hours over the last couple days working on this um, and uh, you can see I added a dock so that we could look out over the bay here uh, I went off that way um, out there past the mountain looking for gravel because I was doing some new paths and I needed a bunch of gravel and uh, let me tell you coming back over that mountain in the middle of the night to find my way home and seeing this whole place lit, lit up in the night I almost started my recording there so you could see it, but I knew I had some work to do before I wanted to start, so I didn't. Uh, maybe if it gets dark uh, while we're talking here, I'll run out and... I mean, I know it's going to get dark, but if I think about it and we're not in the middle of something, I'll run out and um, show you guys uh, how cool it looks. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I put in some new paths. I didn't want to... Uh, or, you know, I like to make it look nice so the paths leads you to the different areas. You can see I got the garden filled in here. Uh, carrots and potatoes. And uh, down here I put a little bridge in across the newly dug river. I dug a little river and we'll look at the, the top of it so I can show you um, where I started it. And, uh, and I put in some logs, uh, just a couple of poles with some logs laying next to them because this is my lumber yard area. I, uh, I plan on putting in a sawmill down here. Uh, I'm going to have to look at pictures of actual sawmills and try to figure out how I want to uh, design it here. I've never built one in Minecraft before, so I don't exactly know how I want to do it. I've seen some that are pretty cool, uh, and um, I'm not sure if that's how I want to go or... Um, uh, I've seen some that are similar to the ones you see in Skyrim. Uh, I've seen some that uh, are done with water wheels. Uh, not that water wheels actually work, but uh, I've seen some water wheels, which is kind of why I put the river here. Uh, I thought I might put like a building here with the water wheel next to it. Um, but uh, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I'm going to have to look at some pictures. I uh, put another little bridge here. Uh, now the bridges are just uh, they're wooden steps with uh, wood slabs uh, running between them. Let me show you the sides here. Oop, I can't because the tree's in the way. Uh, but you see it's just a, a slab running off of steps and then uh, this is fence to make a little uh, handrail across the sides here. Uh, now I I was going to uh, build this while I was recording and uh, it turns out I couldn't talk earlier, and so I just kept stumbling over my words, so I decided I didn't like that episode, and I'd uh, film a new one for you. Uh, so here's uh, uh, the barnyard. I actually increased the fence size a little bit, um, and uh, I do this uh, arch over my gates sometimes because I 
it's hard to see those gates in the middle of the fence. I mean, I, I realize that there isn't any fence post at the bottom of them, but, you know, you're running along and you need the gate and you can't really see it when you're just moving along. Or maybe you can. I don't know. I have problems doing it, so... Um, oh, look, it's getting dark. Let me, uh... Let me run out here. And we will... Go over here to the, uh... To the mountain. This is my quarry area. Uh, I don't think I did it on camera. But this is where I came to get the cobblestone that I used to build my house. Um... And then uh, back on the other side of it is some pretty cool looking mountains. And uh, I had to go past those and I found this uh, stony area that was just full of gravel. And the more I dug down, just the more gravel there was. So I managed to get uh, a couple stacks of gravel. Let me show you what it looks like back over here. Oh, hello creepers. Um, so yeah, it's it's actually a really nice area back here and I'm I probably would have built back here to start with if I had kept going. Uh, and, uh, yeah, when I need uh, sheep or pigs or stuff... No, what's going to happen is I'm going to get back here to show you this and I'm going to get killed. I'm going to get these pumpkins. You know what? I need... I need some pumpkin seeds. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but you can see there's pretty cool mountains. Anyways, so then I'm coming back along here this way. Oh. I'm like, oh man, oh man, it's full of monsters, it's full of monsters. The night is dark and full of terror. And uh, I just wanted to get back to my place. Zombies are chasing me. Uh, I didn't see any creepers on my trip back last time, but there sure are enough creepers here at the moment. And you come up over the hill here, and look at that. There's the dock all lit up, you can see the house, the barn, one of my little uh, light posts there. The bridge is lit up with torches now. It's looking pretty nice. I should have taken my boat. Why didn't I take my boat? I left a little chest with a boat in it so that we could... Uh, or so that I didn't have to... Uh, I keep saying we. I mean I. So that I... Uh, I can have a boat at the docks. I'd like to be able to just put a boat at the docks. But the last time I tried that, the boat's never there when I come back. terrible at fighting those spiders. Uh, so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go make it daylight. I definitely don't want to do this in the dark. Uh, oh, you can see on the, uh, the text here says uh, server saved the world. I, uh, I've moved my I've moved my world onto a server. Uh, it was we were trying to open it up for one of my friends to get on and play a, a map with me and it just wasn't happening um, first I tried mine and I tried a few different things and I couldn't ever get it open to the point where he could join and so then he uh, he got his to open up but it only worked the first time and then he had to change some settings the second time and I'm like you know what it's not that expensive to pay for a Minecraft server, so I'm just going to go ahead and rent a second Minecraft server for my uh, for my world here, and uh, and then I could switch it out for the other maps we play, because we're actually playing a, uh, Complete the Monument map, but uh, uh, alright, I showed you the arcs. Oh yeah, the uh, the barn. I, uh, I had a little... I finished the barn. I guess you guys haven't seen the finished barn yet. I added a... Uh, uh, it's supposed to be one of those uh, pulleys that they use on barns um, to to move the bales and stuff up into the mow. And uh, uh, so let's look in here. You see I pathed out to the barn. I know you're noticing like, hey, what's that stuff? Well, we'll look at it in a minute. 
Uh, I still need some more wheat, which uh, I have plenty of wheat now. I just haven't finished this. Uh, but I need four more bales of hay. Uh, and then uh, I probably need more than four. And I left the ladder out at the bottom here so the cows couldn't get up here. Uh, but I want to put some hay up in here. And uh, you can see I've got a couple of open, uh, open windows here. And then this would be our hook to uh, pull the hay bales up or lower them down. I need to put one on this side too. I haven't done that yet. Um, I need to stop jumping because it's going to kill me. Let me eat real quick. And... Uh, and we'll see if I, uh, I've got enough fence on me to do this. Oh yeah, plenty of fence. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another one of those hooks over here so you can see what I did. Uh, I actually did it on camera in the last one. I have to take this out because, uh, or in the uh, the one I deleted because I didn't like the way it turned out. Uh, so I've got to take out the one slab here because half a slab isn't enough room for this. And then it's just a piece of fence and another piece of fence and a third piece of fence. All right. No, I think that's too much fence. Let me go look, because I can't remember. It's just two, though, right? Piece of fence, piece of fence. No, I think it is three. Maybe it was, uh, I almost did four, and I thought that went out too far, so. Piece of fence, piece of fence, third one down. That's our pulley. Let me dig that dirt out of there. Look at that. I've got my wheat field started. In fact, that one's almost completely ready to harvest. Um, and we'll we'll go look at the wheat field here in a second. But, uh, you know, it's starting to look nice over there. Oops, I totally missed the ladder. Uh, I'm putting in a little storage shed. I know I said I wouldn't build off camera, and I didn't. I built it in the episode I deleted because I didn't like the way it turned out. I uh, I really couldn't talk in the last episode. I was stumbling over words every other sentence, it seemed like. Uh, but uh, all I did was put up some walls and put a roof on it. Uh, it's oak with spruce on top. And uh, it's just uh, oak planks, uh, spruce stairs, and uh, oak... Or not, it's not oak. Spruce... Uh, spruce planks and then uh, the roof is uh, just slabs uh, spruce slabs across there uh, I'm gonna put a different floor in probably stone like the barn has there and uh, this is gonna be a storage shed to hold my materials because I had to put another you can see through the window there I had to put another set of chests in there I'm like man I'm gonna have so much stuff in my house and uh, so I'm actually going to put some chests in here. We'll put the uh, double chests on the wall back here. There'll be one on this side, one on this side, and then I can stack them up. Because uh, you can stack chests on top of each other, and as long as there's not a plank directly above them, you can open them. And then we'll do another set here and here. And uh, that'll give me tons of storage for whatever I need. Um, so yeah, I also added some windows to the barn. Oh, uh, yeah, this used to be a hill. I remember I was going to put my pig pen on top of it. I dug it all out. Uh, took it all down. This, uh, this digging cost me like 14 shovels. And, uh, and I, t um, tiered, uh, tiered my area here that's going to be my wheat field. Uh, I've got one tier almost filled in. Uh, now I need to harvest this down and uh, get some seeds and stuff to finish filling it in. Uh, and this is my little explanation area. I'll have to do my explanation again here. But let me get up to the top here and I'll show you what I did up here. I wanted a river um, in case I put in the lumber mill. I want with a water wheel, I wanted a river running across there, so I came up here, I dug down the top of this hill, and uh, dug a little pond out for, you know, the water source for the river, because um, 
like it needs one. But uh, And then uh, I dug a river all the way down through here. There was already a little pond next to the house. You couldn't see it before because it was behind the hill. But when I dug out the hill, I'm like, oh, look at that. I didn't even see that little, little pond. And uh, so um, I just dug a channel and kept putting water in it until it uh, flowed all the way down through my channel. Um, and so for that, I do want to show you a little bit about how water works. Uh, water comes in two flavors, um, flowing water and source blocks. This is flowing water, that still water is source blocks. And uh, let me get over on this side. When you pour water out, uh, what it does is it spreads seven blocks in each direction. Um, and so this this water here is seven from the central water source block. And so you can see it, I mean, it, uh, it spreads evenly out. All right, I'm going to scoop that back up with my bucket and it'll all go away. Uh, now it works a little differently if it's, uh, if it's on a hill or there is a hole nearby. Uh, water doesn't spread evenly if it can find a shorter route down. Water seeks down. So if I place it here, it will seek down. Notice it does not spread out in every direction until it gets to the bottom there and then it can't find a down so it just spreads and so um, the way water works when it's going down is as long as it can find a down before it reaches its seventh block um, then it can spread another seven blocks every time it drops down so you'd think that water flowing this way would continue to flow that way but no this was shorter so it changed direction and went the shorter path um, so it's kind of their version of downhill. Uh, it looks for the shortest path down. Now when I'm using it for farming though, I uh, I need to hydrate my ground so it will stay tilled. It also makes the uh, wheat grow faster. Uh, oh, you know what? I thought the wheat was ready before, but it actually looks like it's closer to ready now. And uh, so... The way water works in the ground, though, is it goes over four. It will hydrate for four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Let me switch to my hoe. One, two, three, four. And it's got to be four out from the edge. So one, two, three, four. So this would be my block for water. Now you see what happens without water? It turns back into dirt. Uh, or not dirt. It's always dirt. But it's a... Uh, uh, it turns back into untilled soil. So if I put water in here, though, uh, then what it will do is it will keep it hydrated and it won't turn back into untilled soil. Look, that one's even already got grass back on it. And so then it will get everything in a 9x9 nine nine square around the water block. Now, this tier does not have a full 9x9 nine nine square, uh, room for a full 9x9 nine nine square. And I didn't even actually realize it was a 9 by 9 square until I started experimenting the other day. And so that's what I've done here is I dug all this out and then under these hay bales, and I'll put hay bales on top of those as well, is my water source blocks to keep my water or my fields hydrated. And I'll show you this real quick. Um, I put in little steps you can see because when you jump on land it, it will uh, compact it back into untilled soil and so the steps help me to stop from plopping down on my field and destroying my my field. Now here it doesn't matter because it's down a tier. But my plan is to uh, go up these uh, three tiers here with wheat and then um, I'll plant around the sides here as well. Uh, I'm not going to tier this up but it'll just come over to like here or something. You don't need this much wheat to play the game. This is more wheat than anybody ever needs, but you know, I'm building a little farm here, so I want it to look like a farm. Um, I'm going to go run and sleep before uh, before the monsters come out, because I don't want to have to deal with so many creepers. Uh, oh, you know, I brought that pumpkin back, so I'm going to go ahead and, and show you kind of how the pumpkins work then. They work a little different than the other crops here. There's also melons, uh, but I have not managed any melons. Oh, you can see I had a creeper blow up and take out my bushes. 
because you know creepers are evil like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the pumpkins. Um, I'm gonna do the pumpkins down here. I think. Uh, maybe we'll do the pumpkin patch over here. I need to get some move my reeds over here probably. Okay, so pumpkins. Here's a pumpkin. I'm gonna put it in uh, my crafting area. Make pumpkin seeds. So it's gonna give me four seeds. Pumpkins go down as a vine. Uh, right now it's it's just down. And uh, maybe next episode or the episode after we'll get some pumpkins out of this. But the way melons and pumpkins work is they grow up from a central vine, and then the pumpkin or melon will plop over onto one of the squares next to where you planted the vine. Uh, I haven't... I, I, you can fill in with, like, stone or something, maybe some other plants, to stop it from plopping in the direction you don't want it to. Um, but usually I just leave space around it so it can go wherever it wants. And then what's great about them is once they're down, they grow really, really fast after the vine is matured. And so you can just... You get the pumpkin and the vine stays there, and you never lose your vine, um, which is pretty awesome. And then when you combine that with uh, eggs and sugar, then you get pumpkin pie, which gives you back four hunger per pumpkin pie, which is usually my favorite food to use when I'm not using baked potatoes. Uh, baked potatoes give you back three, but I like the uh, four from the pumpkin pie better. Uh, let's see, what else do I uh, oh, I want to build a well here. Um, just put a little well in right here. So I might do the well before next time. It'll just be some uh, some cobblestone with a couple of fence posts on top and a little roof. Um, nothing special. Um, and yeah, so I want to maybe put in a lumber yard down here. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, though, exactly where I want it. I don't want to use up too much of my forest space here because there is desert right on the other side. I might actually put it on this... Well, it wouldn't make any sense to have it on this side of the river, would it? I have more space over here, though. I might build it, like, right here. And then, you know, because that way, you you know, if it was real, you'd chop down the trees, throw them in the river, and they'd float down river to the to lumber mill. So I might do the lumber mill on this side. Uh, but like I said, I've got to look. I got to look at some pictures to see what I want to do. Um, I want to do a windmill behind my wheat field, so up on the hill here. Uh, I'm probably gonna put a windmill. I know I didn't build anything this episode. Uh, I really had intended to to build the shed, uh, but like I said, I didn't like the way the episode turned out. So really, this has just been a little tour of the farm, where I'm at, um, what my plans are coming up. Uh, probably put the windmill, like, right here. A uh, little path to it coming up here. And, um, but I gotta figure out how I wanna do the blades on that. I've never done blades in Minecraft for a windmill. Uh, I've, I built a windmill in Feed the Beast, and Feed the Beast has uh, actual windmill blades uh, that rotate, which, of course, we're not gonna get in, in vanilla Minecraft here. But uh, I will have to figure out how I want to do those. There are some new blocks, and I'm not sure how they work. Uh, I don't think they they will go vertically. There's a really loud zombie right here. Is there a zombie in here? He must be just underground, since my underground is so open. Uh, but yeah, I want to uh, I want to do up a do up a windmill too. Uh, and I'm not sure what else I want to do. Oh, I do want to put a, uh, do a, a stable for the horse, um, and the cows too. And I'll just, uh, I'll add that on the side here. Um, and that's just going to be a simple, like, lean-to kind of stable thing. Um, or maybe I could do up a nice stable. Um, yeah, let's do a nice stable. Uh, we've got the barn kind of for storage for hay, and we'll just, uh, We'll add in some, some stalls over here, and um, it'll just be a single single story structure instead of a double story, or two story like the barn was. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to do the stables, and a windmill, and a lumber yard, 
And we'll put down a little, uh, do I have some blocks on me? I could probably start on that. Um, we still got a few minutes left. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't start on this little, how many, how many fence do I have? I should have plenty of fence. Um... Alright, I've only got spruce. Oh no, I've got oak steps. I don't know if I want oak or spruce. I think I want oak oak roof on my uh, Now, we need it to be actual water source, so it's going to have to be a 4x4 square in the middle. And I can show you about infinite source blocks that way. Uh, and so, man, we only got a few minutes left here. Um, source blocks and, and non-source blocks of water. Um, when I pour this water out, the one in the corner is a source block. I can pick it up with a bucket. You can't pick up uh, non-source blocks that are just flowing water. But if you add a second source block near the first, um, then it will make all the blocks around it source blocks. Uh, and so you actually get an infinite pool of water and I can just take as much water as I want out of this well. Uh, and that's kind of how water works. Uh, lava works similar, but you can't do the infinite trick with it. It's just a source block that flows. Um, and then real quick here before we get to the end, I know I usually talk about something. So I want to talk about Under a Graveyard Sky. Uh, I've been reading this uh, zombie book, and uh, it's awesome. It's uh, by John Ringo. And it's pretty much everything I wanted from World War Z and didn't get. Uh, and so if you uh, if you like zombie books, uh, you should probably check it out. It's about a it's about a family that uh, survives during the zombie horde, uh, the zombie apocalypse, uh, and it's pretty good. So. All right, then, click like if you like and subscribe to catch the next episode, and I will talk to you later.